this is gonna be a video about what all do I eat and drink in a day to be able to live with my pot syndrome. So, if you guys seen my what's in my purse video, you guys know that at all times I have some sort of chocolate on me. This is what my chocolate bucket's looking like right now. I use my Easter basket, I don't care. But even when I don't have it in a bucket like that, my dad always has some sort of chocolate for me in the fridge because he knows it helps me to function. Um, but I do really recommend Kit Kats because they have the crunchy little bars in the middle. And because of that, that has peanuts in it and the peanuts have salt in it. And that seems to help me. Number two is I always am eating my... <laughs> Excuse me. Um, always eating Ritz crackers in a day, which I just got this pack just now. Number three is always have water. I, I suggest 32 ounces nearby and try to drink three a day. I'm guilty of not even drinking one. I will be honest beyond honest but as long as your urine runs clear then that means you're hydrated and you don't have to stress it so as long as your urine's clear and you stay away from caffeine as little sugar as possible through your drinks um you're allowed sugary foods it's just staying away from caffeine and sugar oriented drinks your sugar dehydrates sorry about that um so yeah anything with sugar in it will dehydrate you at least that's what my doctor told me. So that's why he told me to quit drinking Sunny D. Because I was like, the only thing I would drink because pop makes me sick anyway. So I quit drinking pop. What do people want? It was the exact same text and my phone just went off for a second time. Um, anyway. Another big thing that helps is salt tablets. You can get them at Walmart, Rite Aid, Walgreens, Myers, wherever, but salt tablets will save your life. Pot syndrome is not something that you could die from. At least, if you pass out because pot syndrome hits your head on something, yeah, you could die. But as far as like the symptoms are not going to kill you. Of course, my nose decides to run when I'm starting to film. But yeah. Taking salt tablets, I take them twice a day, plus I also go to a cardiologist, which has me on uh, blood pressure medication. I'll see if I have the name of it on my chart. It's fludocortisone is what I take. I take it once a day and it's only 0 0.1 milligrams. But I also take that in combination with salt tablets, um, lots of water and lots of salt in my day-to-day -day diet. For example, um, my dad's always constantly at McDonald's, buy me a large fry, cause I will down that in five minutes. Um, I'm little, as you guys can see, but, like, I actually eat a lot more than I look. Um, when you guys are eating something, put a little bit of salt on it, and it will help you. And also, asthma could trigger it, uh, stress could trigger POTS, so many different things could trigger it. So, also, be mindful of triggers. It's kind of like anxiety. You have to be mindful of knowing what your triggers are so you don't trigger it. But unfortunately, I have a bad habit of not drinking. Because my parents always forget to buy the flavor packets and because they don't. Regular water report, like when it comes from the tap, you just put it in a cup. It tastes like soap water to me. It's nasty. But yeah, that's all my advice on pot syndrome and how to manage it.